Hello and welcome to this video where we will build our first AI application using Spin and only 8 lines of code. So let's dive straight in. Now before we get started, it's important to install Spin which is an open source framework. So these are the steps to install Spin or just check the quick start video linked in the description below. Once you've installed Spin, it's time to get started and how you create a new application in Spin is by using the command spin new. As you can see, there are templates for you to get started. Today we will be building using Rust. So go ahead and pick the HTTP-Rust example to get started. Now, once you have done so, you can enter a name for your application. We are going to type in first AI app. Well, you know, because it's our first AI app and feel free to give a description or a HTTP path. The path is the path which will invoke or trigger your application. In this case, we have left it a default, which is a wildcard, which basically means that any, any trigger to your application will invoke your app. Now go ahead and CD into the directory that's just created and open the folder in the code editor of your choice. Before we get started with building, a little bit about AI apps in general. We are going to be building an AI inferencing app using something called a large language model or an LLM. Now there are many large language models out there. One of the popular ones is the Llama 2 language model, which is an open source model released by Meta. Now today we are going to be creating an app which will use this Llama 2 language model for any inferencing requests. And we're going to be doing it in a manner that we call serverless, which basically means there are no server processes or daemons for you to actually take care of. You just send an inferencing request and you get the response for that request. To indicate that you are using the Llama 2 language model in your spin app, open your application manifest file, which is the spin.toml file. In line 16, we will add to this application manifest file that we are going to be using the Llama 2 chat model as the AI model for our inferencing requests. Once that's done, it's time for us to modify our code base to actually make an inferencing request to this language model. To do so, open the lib.rs file where we will make the code changes. Since this is a template, there is some boilerplate hello world code for you to use. You can go ahead and remove that and write the code from scratch. Again, like I said, there are only eight lines of code for us to make our first AI inferencing request. The first line of code indicates for this particular app to use the spin SDK crate and include a bunch of modules and functions that we will use in the rest of the app. Don't forget to add the LLM module or function, which we will use to make the inferencing request. Once that's done, we define our component, which in this case is the HTTP component. We will define our function, which we're calling hello world. Well, because this is tradition. And uh, as you can see, it's a simple request response model. We send an inferencing request and we get back a response from the model, which in our case is the answer to the question that we send or the response to the request that we actually send out. So we are going to create an LLM dot inferencing request on line seven. In this case, I'm going to say, can you tell me a joke about cats? Because well, who doesn't love a joke about cats? On a successful request, a response is sent back and all we are going to do is print this particular response. Now, if you've seen our quick start video or if you're familiar with spin, you'll know that you can do spin build to build your app. So let's go ahead and do that. Once that's done, there are two ways you can actually test your app out. You can do a spin up, which deploys your app locally. But here's the thing. When you're deploying your AI app locally, that means your AI model also has to run locally. And unless you have a huge stack of GPUs lying around in your house, I certainly don't, then this is not something I typically would recommend because it would take a good 15 to 20 minutes to actually test out your app. So in reality, there are two ways you can test out your app. The first one is to actually deploy it to the cloud. Now what's happening here is, 
um, this spin is looking at your application manifest file. It's looking at the large language model that you have specified in that file, and it will run that language model in the cloud. So when you run spin deploy, your app deploys to the cloud, and then you can actually see the response live in your browser through a large language model that's running in the cloud. And while this app is being deployed to the cloud, let us know in the comments what type of AI applications you are building. We'd love to hear from you. In this case, here is the output. As you can see, we're not doing any sort of editing to the text. We're just printing out the output, which includes the things like the token count and uh, the generated token count and the prompt token count. The second option is to use a plugin that we have created, which allows you to test your app locally while using a GPU that has a large language model running in the cloud. Now this is perfect because you want to test your app locally before actually deploying it to the cloud. So you get all of the benefits of testing an app locally on your local system, but you're using a, a GPU which has a large language model that's running on the cloud. So how you do that is by installing this plugin, type spin plugins install followed by the URL. Again, it's mentioned right here and go ahead and install it. Once that's done, you have to initialize the plugin. So just type spin cloud GPU in it. And what happens is you will get a type, a URL and an authorization token for you to copy into a runtime config.toml file, which will be in the root of your source folder. Yes, it's another toml file for us to uh, work on. So create a runtime hyphen config.toml, paste the settings that you just saw after initializing the plugin, and that's it. Now, what you have to do is you can test your app locally by running spin up. Again, if you're not familiar with spin up, check our quick start video and make sure you add the flag runtime config file and point to the runtime config.toml file. What this does is it deploys your app locally on your local host and you can go ahead and test it out. Again, refresh the page to get different cat jokes like this one, which I particularly enjoyed uh, from the LLM that's running in a GPU that's running in the cloud. One last thing you can do after testing out your app and maybe before deploying it to the cloud is spin cloud hyphen GPU destroy. This destroys the GPU that's running in the cloud that you were using earlier for testing. And that's it. With eight lines of code and few CLI commands, you were actually able to build a simple Hello World app, which used a large language model. So congrats, you built your first AI app using Spin. If you want to check out a more detailed tutorial, check out the description where we have built a sentiment analysis application using a large language model, much in the same vein. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content on WebAssembly, Spin, and much more. Till then, have a good rest of the day and see you soon.